Aisha says, how to know if we are being tested or being punished by Allah when we are faced with calamities? This is a good question. However, we cannot know. So I became sick. I got an illness. There is a disease. I lost my money. I lost my job. I lost my investment. How would I know if this is a test from Allah to elevate my status in Jannah or it is a punishment that Allah Azza wa Jal is punishing me for sins that I have committed? You cannot know. Nevertheless, they are interlinked. So if I'm a righteous person and Allah Azza wa Jal tests me with uh, an illness, this means that Allah would erase my sins if I'm patient and not complaining and elevate my status in Jannah. And the other way is also true. If I'm a sinful person and Allah tests me with a calamity, with an illness or with poverty or loss of job, and I become humble and patient, I do not complain, I do not uh, 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 object to Allah's ruling, but on the contrary, I acknowledge my sins, then this would erase my sins and elevate my uh, uh, posture and position in Jannah, inshallah. Therefore, one can tell by the circumstances. If a calamity befalls upon a kafir, definitely this is not to elevate his status in Jannah. He's a kafir, he's a disbeliever. This is a punishment. If it falls upon an openly sinner, Muslim, he's sinful, he's openly committing sin, this is a punishment. We know that for granted. If it falls upon a person who's righteous and he's, he's praying five times a day, etc., doing all the, the whole nine yards, yet he's being tested with calamity, this is a test. When does it become a punishment? If he starts to complain and he's impatient and he's objecting to Allah's uh, uh, rulings and decree, though before the calamity he was a person of prayer, fasting, charity and righteousness. In this case it becomes obvious that this is not a test, this is a punishment.